What's good y'all, new video, new loop breakdown, let's get straight to it. Here's a sample, it has three sections. You already know I'm just gonna start off breaking down this first idea and then break down all the layers and all the patterns I added. But this right here is the first idea I put down and it sounds like this. The VST I went to was contact. And I went through the acoustic section in the new factory library and I went with the Celesta preset. I know I've been abusing this preset, but you know, it's too good. Here's the pattern. It might look pretty complex, but it's very, very simple and it's super repetitive. It's just one bar on repeat. I'm just gonna play it without any effects and then explain the music theory and also the effects chain. So I start off with these chords right here. So this is a C minor. If we do this and we do this, now it's a C minor. This right here is a G minor. But yeah, I, I didn't use the middle notes in it. And I took the top notes right here and moved them to the side. And that's basically the whole melody. So here's what it sounds like. After that, I freestyle this little, or like I played this little melody up top here uh, on the keys. But just uh, if I right click this one and press the C note and also the minor scale, all the keys right here would be in the minor scale. So I just played it like this. And together with the other melody, it sounds like this. After that, I fill out these notes right here, the little half step thing going on with the next A sharp right here, which is the uh, which is the third in the G minor. So and yeah, that's the whole MIDI. It sounds like this. The effects I added, the first thing I added was a sound shifter. I just pitched down the sample or the melody three semitones. After that, I loaded up a portal. I went with the hopper preset inside the ether portal bank by prod by cloud. And I also automated it. But without the automation, it sounds like this right here. So I automated the mix knob in the portal. This one right here, you just tweak it up to tools. Last tweaked, create automation clip, and then this little green thing pops up in your playlist and you can adjust the mix knob to whatever you like. I made it go up to 42% right at the G note, so now the melody sounds like this. And the final thing I added to the mixer was a Valhalla Vintage Verb just to add some spacey. So that's the whole main melody right here in the first section. After that, I layered this sound right here. This sound is from Analog Lab. It's the Dark Creatures preset by HZE. And I make the most simple melody ever. It's just the D sharp note, different octaves. After I had these two, I went and grabbed the bass, a one shot bass, and it sounds like this. And the bass is from this Aviotic Tools One Shot and Phrase Kit by Key Major. And also very simple pattern, just filling out the root note of the main melody. And the final sound I added was this one right here. It's an analog lab preset and it's by Kill September. And it's the Prophet Made of Steel preset. And it's from his uh, Opia Bank by Kill September right here. And the mid is pretty simple, I'm gonna play it first. So basically it's just an A minor chord with the root note being duplicated one octave down and the middle note being deleted. So it's just an A perfect fifth chord with the root note down here as well. That these notes, it's the same notes that are in the chords. It's just the A is down here and the E instead of being up here, it's down here. So now it sounds like this. So that's the whole A section of the sample. It sounds like this. I'm gonna play like two bars for you. The next section, the B section, is uh, I just took the main melody and moved it over. I got rid of these synth accents. I kept the bass. Another sample sounds like this. And for the final section right here, the C section, I took the, the main melody, duplicated it, and I pitched it down one octave, and now it sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 
and for the next other sounds in it it's just the hze presets with the bass and now the final section of the beat sample sounds like this So after I had all of this, I just added the stems at the end and exported the whole sample. I routed it to the mixer channel 21 and I just added a little soothe, taking out some frequencies just to make it sound a little bit more clear and not so muddy. And now the sample sounds like this. That's pretty much it for the breakdown. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.